Punjab Chief Minister Amrinder Singh on Monday said that his government will move the Supreme Court against the three farm bills pushed through the parliament by the centre last week as he staged a sit-in to extend support to the protesting farmers. He said the centre has no right to bring in a law on agriculture as it was a state subject and the legislature will be challenged in the court. He also linked the protest by farmers to a security threat claiming that Pakistan's intelligence agency ISI can take advantage of the present situation. Farmers' organizations in Karnataka are observing a dawn-to-dust shutdown across the state today to protest against the farm bills passed by the parliament last week and approved by President Ramnath Kovind on Sunday. The protests against the contentious bills have also intensified in Tamil Nadu, where DMK is holding the statewide agitation. The widespread protests come just two days after the farm organizations organized a Bharat Panth on Friday against the new laws. Ruling out any possibility, the Union Public Service Commission told Supreme Court that the civil service exam scheduled on October 4th can't be postponed over the raging coronavirus pandemic. The top court was hearing a request seeking postponement of civil service exam. The court today asked the UPSC to file its affidavit by tomorrow. The exam, which was earlier scheduled on May 31st, was rescheduled to October 4th due to the pandemic. Former Dharma Productions employee Shitesh Prasad has alleged that he was forced by the Narcotics Control Bureau to falsely implicate Karan Johar and other executives of the production house in the case of alleged consumption of drugs. The agency has denied the charge, claiming that the investigation was done in a professional manner. US President Donald Trump has dismissed the New York Times report that he just paid $750 in federal income taxes in 2016 as fake news. The New York Times had alleged the billionaire president paid just $750 federal income taxes in 2016 and 17 and no federal income taxes at all in the 10 of the previous 15 years because he reported losing more money than he made earlier on Sunday. Trump had told the journalist that it's totally fake news. India has reached another grim milestone as it battles the coronavirus pandemic with the total cases crossing the 60 lakh mark. A single-day spike of 82,170 new COVID-19 cases and 1,039 deaths were recorded in the past 24 hours, pushing the total number of deaths recorded since the pandemic to 95,542. The total coronavirus cases globally have soared past the 3.3 crore mark, with the death toll crossing the 1 million mark. 